Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited PlayStation 2 Edition. Today is episode number 29. If you guys do want to keep up to date with the TDU PS2 series, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And also, don't forget to check the description for our social links. We have Twitter, Discord, and Instagram. But hopefully, you guys do enjoy today's video. I didn't see that car. It was hidden behind the AI's name. Right, here we go. Back on track. Haven't crashed yet. And we are in the lead so far. The Ford GT actually nearly offered the minimap. That's how far ahead we are. And he's off the minimap. We're getting loads of airtime points though through there. How, how have I parked on the middle section? Go, 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 go. Where's that Ford? Push him off the road. Push him off the road. Hey. Slowed him down. Big time. Move. Get out of the way. <laughs> the Ford GT doesn't know how to drive. Oh, there was a third car there. Oops. This car is actually the most expensive car we've bought. Um, I had to sell two cars. Um, I sold the Zagato, uh, the DB4 Zagato, because we haven't driven that and we're not going to drive it. Um, and also the Daytona Coupe, which we've already driven in one of the clubs. And I don't think we're going to need it again. So, yeah. And that was enough to then afford this car. 1.4 mil this cost. And we're probably only going to drive it once. Well, we might drive it for one of the uh, road trips. The long races. Who knows? Come on, come on. Awesome. Okay, we don't have much off-road penalty leg room. We go off the road once down this section with Dumb Four. Right, be careful here. <laughs> there was a blind bit of ro off road there. Very nice, though. We came first place. We got ourselves 5,000 credits as well. And loads of master points, though, for going over those jumps. That was insane. Right, next up is the Jaguar HJ220. Let's do this. Seb Kunfulan. Okay. This is going to be really good. Right. Jaguar against the McLaren F1. This is as British as it gets. Let's go. Nice. Brit against Brit. Oh, traffic cars getting a little bit risky there. What are you doing? Did we just go over that traffic car? Impressive. And look at that. Let's hit 200. There we go. Awesome. 45 seconds for that. <laughs> that was very quick. That was a really good run. Let's have a look and see what's next. So next up is the Pagani Zonda C12S. Let's go. Let's stop chatting. And let's drive. We're going to be going against the um, Zonda. And then the... Um, I think it's the Koenigsegg. 
and the McLaren F1 as well. So, very nice choice of cars, actually. And we're going to see whether the uh, McLaren F1 or the McLaren F1 LM is better. So, I think it's going to be a fairly fair fight. Nice. Whoa. No. Not nice. Awesome. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. That's better. Come on. Ooh. Get back on the road. Jesus. I think I'm... I think... Uh, bleh, I can't speak. I think I'm going to end up taking... If I don't crash it. Taking this car for the long race. Because I feel like this would be a nice one to drive. It's not... Okay, we messed him up, but we have no off-road penalties now. Um, because this one isn't super fast. Jesus. Hey, you crashed. Uh, it's not super fast, so it's not going to be like overpowered or going to take instant to finish it. But as well, it's a nice car to drive. I might take this with the SLR, I'm not sure yet. We'll see. I'll drive the SLR and then I'll make my decision. Because I have already bought the SLR as well. No. Oh, no. You've got to be joking me. Crash, please. I beg. He's not going to crash. He's not going to crash. No. Unbelievable. So uh, apparently for these club races, you actually get random races uh, each time, which I didn't actually know. So uh, we're on a uh, different one against the Zonda. Um, I've obviously retried this plenty of times that it's going to give me a random one. Whoa, watch it. But yeah, I quit the uh, race, went back in by accident. I was supposed to retry and uh, ended up getting this one. It's much, much shorter, actually. Oh, careful. 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 All three traffic cars shifting into my lane. My lane, not your lane. Leave it. <laughs> okay, very nice. Got a little bit of a curb there. Car going on two wheels. Let's go, let's go, let's go. No, okay. Wow. What on earth was that truck doing? Look how close that was. Uh, it is coming towards the same finishing point. But we do have a Zonda right on our tail. And we need to watch out for this. Again, it's a blind corner. Woo! That was crazy. I do not want to do that again. That lorry ruined our race. Or nearly ruined it. Nearly ruined our race. Unbelievable. Right, next up is the McLaren F1. Let's do that. I've had a massive problem trying to record this. Because every single time it's just been nightmare after nightmare. Trying to get to that finish line first. This one's difficult. Um, but I feel like... Technically, for a 100% walkthrough, we don't have to do the clubs. But I really want to do the clubs because 
Again, if you 100% all the clubs, then I can say I have completely 100%ed it. Even though the game technically doesn't count the clubs, I want to count the clubs. 6.4 miles for this race, though. I could just quit and get a shorter one, but uh, nah, let's do it. This is also... Oh, watch it. This is also against the uh, McLaren F1 as well. Uh, this is actually the same race as one of the other races that we did before, uh, where we crashed big time. But uh, we go in a slightly different direction. We started in the same spot. Oh, wow. There we go. It is much, much more difficult to drive this car. So I feel like this is going to be used in a different way for a different race. Probably won't be taking this for the 100 mile race. The fact is I'm only going to record the 100 mile race once. So I need to pick the perfect car for it. Um, so obviously next up we're going to do some driving with the SLR I think. Nice. Oh, slow down. Come on. Perfect. Of course, overshoots the corner. Go, go, go. Nice. Oh no, the F1 overshot the corner too. Actually, we're in the F1 as well. The normal F1 overshot the corner. Let's actually have a look. Oh! I like that central seating position. That is really, really nice. I do like the McLaren F1 because of that, because of the central position. I wonder, this car probably feels just like a um, giant go-kart. With that uh, way that you're sat in the position. It must feel like a giant go-kart. This is really good. We've got one more race after this, and that's against a Koenigsegg. Close. Very good though. And across the line. That is the midship club. Actually, no, we got one more. Koenigsegg. We gotta do the Koenigsegg now. And then once that's done. I don't know, are we gonna do another club? I think we might do. I mean it's all gotta be done in the end anyways. And it's all gotta be done before we do the final race. But uh, next up, Koenigsegg CCR. We haven't actually driven against this car yet. Um, or I don't think so. Um, I feel like this is the one with the wing. The CCX, but with the wing. No, it's not. Interesting. I've never seen the CCR then. Oh, I remember Koenigsegg did the uh, circle rims as well. Ugh. Why is it car companies did that? Made rims round. Made the spokes like circles. Ugh. That's just disgusting. Don't ever do that. Hopefully the Koenigsegg crashes into that. No, he doesn't. But he crashes into another car instead. take advantage of that this is a very short race as well so Ooh, come on 
Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Your next vehicle upgrade is free. That is good because that's going straight on the SLR. Because we are now broke. <laughs> but there we go. That is that. The club midship done. Right, so today, again, we're doing uh, mostly clubs. Um, I have counted. We've got 18 clubs left to do, uh, which is loads, actually. Uh, and we're going to do the Windward Ocean Surfers with the Chrysler Mi 412 now. Uh, so let's go against the Pointiac Firebird, first of all. Let's do this. We're going to have loads of clubs. I'm going to keep an eye on this time. That is TikTok. No thanks. <laughs> I still had TikTok open, so as I opened the my phone, it was like, ah, play. Uh, but yes, we are... So it is half two. So I've got an hour and a half to do as many... Um... As many clubs as possible. So let's do it. We'll just grind non stop. I've got myself some uh, sugar, aka a tunnock's bar. Uh, I don't know if they have them in America or anything like that, but in the UK, they are like a caramel wafer. I have the caramel log. So it's a wafer with caramel and topped with roasted coconut. It's very tasty. The uh, Chrysler is going really quick though through this American event. Whoa! Okay, we've had a head-on collision. But we're going to get as many of these clubs done, because we have to. We don't really have a choice right now. Ah, careful, watch out. I think today and tomorrow we'll go clubs crazy. Because uh, that way we'll get it all sorted, get it all out of the way. And we have loads to do anyway, so... That's not a problem for me. Right. Go slow down, slow down. Perfect. Ah, careful. <laughs> I saw that car flying towards me then. It was like, nope, I'm not going to crash into you today. Right, we got a mile left. We got flung across the highway there. I see the blue of the finish line, and we've gone off road. But there we go. Finish first. Race a bludgeon. That was his name. Wow. Ugh. Okay. Interesting. Right, let's see what car we're going up against next. Next up is the Dodge Viper SRT 10. Awesome. I do like the uh, SRT. It's a very nice car. Right. There is the SRT Viper. Let's beat it. Shouldn't be too difficult, actually. And we're off. No! That's not ideal. Ah, careful! Perfect! Awesome. No, not good. These cars are very difficult cars to control. Um, a lot of the A-Class cars are difficult. Um, but for some reason today, I'm having a lot of trouble driving in this game. Whoa, that was close. Big time. Where are we going? This way? Come on. Nice. 
see the engine in the back of that car there. Okay, we're going off road a little bit. Not a problem though, because we are back on track. Oh, nice. Here we go. And there's the finish line. Ta-da. 1 minute 42.846 for that. That's very good. Very, very good. Very nice. Okay. Let's have a look. So uh, we have to go against the Ford Shelby Cobra Concept next. It's going to be awesome. Uh, there's also the Chevrolet Camaro. I wonder if that's the modern one or the old one. I'm not sure. I think it might be the old uh, 69 one. 69 Camaro. Oh. <laughs> These are some good concept cars going against each other. I think as well this car is available in the actual concept club as well. Uh, which we need to do as well. Nice. Oh, let's get around the corner. Perfect. Bana bum 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 bum. Nope. Perfect. I love crashing into cars in this game as well, it's quite fun. I try not to, but when you do, it's always rewarding. You see a car just go flying. Like this. Bang. Satisfying as hell, always. And we got a Cobra on our tail now, so uh, we're going to have to watch out for you. Oh no! We spun out. Ooh, not great. Hope that hasn't messed up our run now. I was too busy showing off. Crashing is fun, but not if you're in last place. No! Where the hell did our car go? <laughs> right, here we go. We've got the Shelby Cobra. Let's do this. Right, turn left. Perfect first corner there. Nice. No, 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 what are you doing? Stay out of my way. Oh, no, not ideal. Big amounts of contact through there. Go, go, go. Nice. I love the look of this car. It's a nice looking car from the front. From the rear, it looks horrible. But the front is nice. We've got traffic cars crashing into traffic cars now as well. Go, go, go. Nice, nice. Not nice. That car just did a backflip. Yes, that did, a, that did do a backflip. Uh, that is the spot I just crashed earlier as well. Managed to go right into the sea there. What are you doing? Car doesn't like to turn that well while you're going in a straight line. Really does not like it at all. Here we go. And across the line. Nice. What time have we got? 142.636. That is decent. Perfect. Okay, next up is the Chevrolet Camaro Z28. Let's do this. Against Chad. What a name. Chad.
Right, let's do this. Oh, that is a nice car. I don't want to beat it, but I need to. But that is a nice car. Oh, I love cars like that. I wouldn't want to own one, because I'd worry I'd break it. And it, those are like classic cars that you sort of have to worry about, because you damage those. And it's expensive to get repaired. There are no originals or parts like that anymore. Unless you find them second hand. But there we go. Decent race completed in 45 seconds. Very nice. Just under 45. 44.72. It was very good. I'm just working out how many I want to do today. How many clubs. Uh, so next is Fibor. Uh, he's in a Celine S7. So we're going to go against him. I think I'm going to, in today's recording session, do five clubs. So we've already done one. We'll do these four. That will leave us with 14. Tomorrow, I'll then do six, which will leave us with eight. We'll then do all of the races. And then we'll do the final eight clubs before the final set of races. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan. Okay, cool. I got you. Oh, there we go. Nice. Obviously, this series isn't going to be as, like, proper or serious as the 9 o'clock one. Because the 9 o'clock one's like proper walkthroughs of games. These are just me messing around, having a bit of fun, um, making some content. Um, and especially because this game doesn't have a structure. Oh. Good. Get back on the road. Oh, Jesus. Have you seen that? Wow. But yeah, the fact that this game has, like, no structure like other racing games um, makes it slightly easier but more difficult to record. You sort of have to record in a very different way. Um, because you can't just like turn it on and record uh, one championship and then that's it. And then title the video. Because there's no way you can structure titles properly without thinking of like, I don't know, something. But uh, when we do do Gran Turismo 4, uh, we will be messing with thumbnails then. I am trying uh, to think of different ways to do thumbnails. But uh, it's not going well. <laughs> right, but there we go. That is the second to last race, I think. We've got one more race. And then that will be Windward Ocean Surfers done. And this one is the Ford GT. Let's do this. Boom, 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 boom. Awesome. Let's go. Come on. We got this. And the Ford GT has already crashed, so that's given us a massive head start but this car shouldn't have a problem anyways so it should be fine oh a little bit of uh, rear tires on the dirt there stay away stay away from me be gone traffic cars I'm surprised that it's an American car that's the most powerful car in this game. 
Um, because normally you see a lot of like European companies that make the supercars. And normally the fastest cars in games are quite typically either um, German, like the Bugatti, or French, like the Bugatti. Bit of a touchy subject there, which one's which. Nice. Awesome. And across the line. Next vehicle upgrade is free. Ta-da. That's awesome. Let's have a look at this screen. Come on. Oh, let me see it. Get in there. We are president. Awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button or click on the merch link in the description. It would mean the world to me. And also, don't forget to check in the description for our other social links. We've got Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. So make sure to follow us over on there. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.